You are now listening to the How to Evolve podcast. You can find this channel on Twitter, GabThatAI, BitChute, and Minds.com. This is a Real American Patriot channel for Real American Patriots. If you're not a Real American Patriot, please exit the channel. Furthermore, we are not sponsored by any outside interference. That means we're unscripted, unrehearsed, and unedited. With that being said, transmission will commence momentarily. How are you guys doing? Welcome to the Honey Ball Podcast. I'm your host, Stefan. You can find me at Minds.com, Bitchu, Twitter, Gap.com. What's the point? Like, share, and subscribe because we're riding this until the wheel fall off. On that note, guys, let's start the, let's start the, um, the show. All right. In this episode, I'm going to discuss an article about our economy right now. All right. The way it's going right now. This is why you see a resurgence of all these distractions within, within the deep state. This order out of chaos. All right. From the Trump administrations, um, the Democrats having a bad week this week. Last week was the the Democratic uh, debate, and it was, wasn't a good debate. It shows that the real side of the Democratic Party, the 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 real issue with the Democratic Party, the dysfunction, how they cannot resonate with the American people, how left leaning they are. So they have to devise all these distractions from the real. F- true that's what's happening to the economy right they have to do all this distraction within these false flags operation within texas ohio california this is all this is all textbook um false flag propaganda operation northwood all right this is what it is false flag operation um order out of chaos they try to make all these um all this chaotic thing and they want you to demand order from the government to control you Right? Who does that? Who wants to be controlled? Who, who's like, who go to a government? A hey, government, I, I need to give you more of my freedom away. I need for you to control me. I need to. I, I need less freedom. Right? This is what they're doing, right? To distract you from this real article that's coming out right here that I'm about to show you. All right? Give me one moment. I'll put this out. It's about the economy and how it's going on right now, and what they really don't want people to know. Why aren't they putting this outside? On mainstream media, why they report the speech that Pres- um, Vice President um, Pence made that within the last year, there's like millions of jobs being added to the um, economy. They don't want you to tell this thing. All right? Let me put this article out for you guys. All right? They try to distract people from bad news, All right, stuff that don't matter. The president's bad in Baltimore and all this stuff, all those in Insurmountable news that don't make don't don't worry everybody else in America. This news that doesn't matter, right? From this real news, this article, U.S. added 167 jobs just in July alone. 164,000 jobs. Let me reiterate: jobs in July alone. The U.S. economy added 164,000 jobs in July, and unemployment held at steady 3.7 percent. That's good. You don't want it to go any more than that. If anything, unemployment should go lower than this. If more jobs keep coming up, right? This is how you reduce unemployment. You provide jobs. If there's no job to begin with, of course, unemployment will go up. It's a correlation. It's a seesaw effect. If you provide jobs, employment will go down because there's jobs to fulfill those unemployment, to take away from those unemployment. It's, a, it's, co- it's ra- common sense, right? If there's more jobs out in the market, um, the number of unemployment will go down. The reason why un- unemployment are at this steady rate is because there, there are... S- a few bad hombres out there who, who don't want to work for a living, all right? There are a few people out there who don't like to work. That's why they're considered un- unemployed, all right? But if you have enough job, keep coming in and out, keep coming in and coming in, of course, unemployment number will go down. And that's good. We need to go down. Economists surveyed by Eco- Econo Day help forecast to gain about 152,000 jobs for July, for unemployment declined slightly, 3.6%. That's even better. It declined it. While the economy has continued to grow in the summer, this showed a sign of slowing from rapid from 3.1% ro- rate of gro- growth to the, to the first three months of the year. Manufacturing has been weak in spots, while consumer spending in the labor market has been strong, right? It's strong because people believe in the economy. They wouldn't spend that much if they don't think the economy's that good. And they have more money in their pocket. Of course, they're going to spend that much. All right? Economic growth slowed to 2.1% in April throughout June period. Unemployment, I mean, employment is health care rose by 30000 over the month. Almost entirely made up the gains of the arbitrary, no, 
ambulatory I'm saying <laughs> ambulatory ab- ambulatory I think that's how I pronounce it. But I, I apologize. Ambulatory healthcare service. Ambulatory, I think it's ambulance. Healthcare employment has increased by 405,000 over the year. All right? That's a lot. My ambulatory healthcare service accounts for about two thirds of the gains. Mining employment declined by 5,000 in July. That has been sluggish in, the se- in, in several months. Manufacturing employment grew by 16,000 in a month. And have generally slowed his year compared to last last job gain in the industry. Have averaged twenty two thousand per month. Excuse me. In two thousand eighteen, this year it have an average of just eight thousand. This week, Federal Chairman Jerome Powell said weakening ar- around the globe may also by weight weighting in the U.S. economy by reducing demand for U.S. export and uncertainties around. The trades may also be making a businesses hesitant to investment. The Feds on Wednesday announces that in, that one quarter percent point can cut the benchmark interest rate. Yeah, you have to cut it. Why would you raise interest rate? If they, if, why would you raise interest rate? When unemployment when unemployment near fifty years low, job growth has, has slowed. Unemployment growth has um, averaged about one hundred sixty five thousand per month. But it, thus far this year, comparing to the average monthly gain of 200,000, 23,000 in 2018. The very poor May job figures were, has, um, was revised even further down to 10,000 to 72,000. 62,000 June bounded back and revised down to 31,000 to 139,000. Every bounded and less impressive. Despite very low unemployment, wages growth remained mute. Over the past 12 months, average hourly earnings have increased by 3.5. That's even good, right? Look, there might be a little sluggish point in this article, but compared to the Obama administration, look, when you compare Obama administration to the Trump administration, Obama administration throughout his whole presidency, all right, let me put it, throughout his whole presidency, sorry about that, my phone rang. Throughout his whole presidency, it flatlined it. Right when you look at the graph, Obama presidency, Bush presidency, and uh, Trump presidency, Bush was going like this, right? Goes like this, and then 2018 hit, right? 2018 is the the subprime mortgage loan hit, right? The housing market hit. Now Obama took over at this point, and throughout his eight years, it just flatlined it, flatlined it, flatlined it, flatlined it. Flatlined it. Flatlined it, flatlined it, flatlined it until Trump took over in 2016. Then it gradually go up, 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 up. This graph is in the Wall Street Journal. I can't find it right now, right? It's in the Wall Street Journal. It was comparing the Bush presidency, Obama, and Trump presidency. Throughout the Trump presidency, his whole economy was flatlined. It's just stagnant the whole time, eight years. This is why the situation was not improving during the Obama administration. He did, his policy did not do anything to help the American people. All right, job wasn't growing. Black em- unemployment was at an all new high. People were losing their house, their life, the sa- love, life savings. To compare to Trump right now, this is why they don't want to promote this stuff. Unemployment study wage is wage rises, all right? When people make a profit, that's what I don't understand. When company make a profit, this is what I don't understand. People people complain about oh companies there to make a profit. Of course they make of course they're there to make a profit. When they make a profit, they are able to incentivize their their worker more money. When you make a profit, you can give your employer employee raises. Alright? If the company don't make a profit, you know what happened to the company don't make a profit? They have to fire you. They have to come up with that money to to make the cut. They have to get the money from somewhere to in order to for the company to be alive. All right. Every company, their whole motive is to make profit. Profit will provide new equipment, more workers, and more higher wages. If company don't make any profit, they can't provide all those stuff. All right. It's basic economics. 
Don't you guys realize that? Realize that? Don't these lippers realize that? All right. When the company make a profit, all right, they're able to pay you a higher wages than minimum wages. All right. Look at company like um, Chick Fil A, and In and Out. Their 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 starting wages is much more higher than compared to McDonald's, Burger King. All right. Because when you compare Chick Fil A or In and Out. They have a higher profit margin. They're a really profitable company. When you're a really profitable company, you are able to pay your staff more than the minimum wage. This is why Chick Fil A pay above average, above minimum wage. Chick Fil A, um, in and out, they pay above average minimum wage. They don't pay minimum wage. They pay over minimum wage. All right, because they're so profitable. They make money. They keep. They're not losing any money. They make money. Chick Fil A. They keep expanding, all right? This is an example of if a company make enough money, they're able to give you a higher wage. Look at look at Costco. They're making a profit. They make killings. Because they make killings, they have a higher profit margin. Within those profit margins, within those budgets, they're able to give their workers a higher wages, all right? This is why all these small, small, what's that? Not small, but big company like, like um, I'm gonna say McDonald's. I don't wanna say fast food. I'm gonna pick another company. Um, they want they always want, they always want to use Walmart, all right? Walmart as giving a higher way. Walmart is an evil company. Basically, they don't have any conscience. Walmart is not a, a Christian company. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm sorry to say, it, but when you compare the Walmart to Chick Fil A, and and In and Out. It's totally it's apples and oranges. Walmart is in a different industry. They have a higher overhead costs. All right, they have a higher overhead costs. They they had to deal with theft. That's retail. They had to deal with theft, the loss. All right, and food industry is not like that because they have a fewer overhead costs. All right, they don't have to worry about theft. Who steal burgers? <laughs> I mean, besides from the employer. All right, but it's small margins. But they 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 make a big this it's small costs, but they make a big margins on the prices. All right, because of the volume that people keep coming. You go to uh, any In and Out or Chick Fil A, it's always a line there. All right, it's always a line. But this is just an examples of a, if a company make profits, they are a, they are able to give their employees more money. All right, if I was an independent company over a small store, if I my if I have a success, successful businesses. All right, if I make all this profit, so much money, I'm I would ins- I would pay my employee more because I have, I have so much money coming in. I don't mind paying more to give them a better job, a better wages. All right, that's how it works. If you have more money, you can't give a raise if your your company is not producing money. All right, you cannot give raises if your your company is not making a profit. That's what I'm going to say. But I digress. Let me know what you think. You think. You think this is the reason why they're not promoting this? That they're, they're hiding this fact that the, the company is providing jobs. President, uh, Vice President um, Pence already addressed this. All right, let me know if you agree. You agree or disagree? Uh, because of what I'm saying, because of what I'm pouring YouTube, don't want to monetize my channel because I'm unscripted, unrehearsed, unedited. I mean, I could say whatever I want without being bothered by any outside interference. All right. If you like what I do, like, share, and subscribe. Because when you like, share, and subscribe, it encourages me to make more videos. When I make more videos, I saturate the YouTube algorithm. When I saturate the YouTube algorithm, um, it make my video, it make my video more expensive to a broader audience. With a little broader audience, I might enlighten people to think for themselves. Because that's the point of this channel: get people to think for themselves. They don't have to agree with everything I said, but at least think for themselves. Don't be sheep thinkers like this: the Democrat, Marxist, communist, all right, Black Lives Matter, and Tifa group of junkies. All right, don't be like that because group thinkers they implement policy that take away people's rights and money and freedom away from people. Those are group thinkers. Because of that, I'm not taking any, any donations because it's a, it's a good enough incentive for me if I get you to think for yourself because you won't implement all this policy that affect my life. All right, but once again, let me know what you do. Leave a comment below. All right, uh, thank you for your time. This is the Hollywood Podcast. I know time is very precious. I'm not sure I wish you your time, and you guys have a good day. Peace.